Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Calgary is in the middle of a meth crisis, but would you know what meth looks like or if your teen was taking it? And then what would you know, would you know what to do? So child psychiatrist Dr. Monique Jericho is here now with what parents should know about teens and drug use. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. A lot of people buzzing about this right now because mm -hmm. of the meth crisis, the mm -hmm. opioid crisis. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yep. And this is a really serious problem when it comes to our teens. It sure is. I mean, drug use is something that we don't always think about. But when a crisis like this comes up, it's a good time to reflect on drug use in general in youth. Okay, so what does it look like in teens? Well, we know that in the demographic between, say, 15 and 24, mm -hmm. these folks are the highest drug users out of all of our population, okay. right? So we know that these people are using drugs, and we know that they're also being harmed by the use of drugs. Okay, what does that harm look like? What do you mean by that? Accidents, injuries, and even death, right? These wow. are inexperienced users, yeah. and they're also users who are younger and perhaps more impulsive. Sure, and that's yeah. sort of the natural part of the brain process, to be that impulsive person. Absolutely, absolutely. Adolescence, right? A yeah. time of great brain change and development. And this is also a time where, you know, young people are really, really vulnerable yes. to drug use, right? It can lead to long-term health consequences, mental health problems, and ongoing addiction through life. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you want to address this early. We do. Okay, yeah. so if you're a parent, though, how would you even know if your child is doing this? Mm -hmm. It's a really good question, and sometimes the answer is you may not know right away okay. because some of the changes you would see in that young person could mimic the changes that naturally happen okay. as your young person goes through adolescence. Okay. But there are some things to watch for. Okay, what are those? Okay. So changes in patterns of behavior. Okay. So if you start to notice your young person is more withdrawn, not participating in family dinners, family rituals, right. more removed from things, patterns with friends change, okay. friendships change. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. What about when it comes to performance? Yes. Mm -hmm. So a big sign, too, is a deterioration in their motivation around school. Okay. And their performance with school. Maybe they're not attending as much. And same thing with sports or other interests that they may have had. Okay. There'll be a deterioration there or a change that just doesn't add up. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. And how about their personality? You were saying big exactly. changes there, too. Changes in their personality and their mood. Oh. So interacting... Right. will become a bit more difficult, right? Potentially there's more withdrawal, but there can also be more irritability and aggression. Mm -hmm. Things that just don't add up and that aren't in keeping with what you know about this young person, regardless of whether they're entering into their teenage years. Or not. Okay. That's right. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so now you've confirmed maybe your suspicions, but what do you do? Yeah, so very tricky to have this conversation, particularly if you haven't sown the seeds. Right. So... Age of onset of drug use, average age of onset of drug use in this country is 15 years. Right? 15, okay. Right? So start early yeah. in terms of laying the groundwork. What are your attitudes and beliefs as a family about yeah. substance use? Okay. okay. When we get to the point where we want to maybe have more of a confrontation, right. brace yourself. Okay. Plan and prepare. Get your partner on side. Right. Right. And then really kind of go into it with an open attitude but with clarity about what your limits are okay, okay? and expect some blowback probably expect right expect some blowback yeah. expect some denial potentially expect some irritability expect questions about your substance use and some challenges maybe oh. about other addictions in the family okay be honest about that and forthright but maintain those limits okay right? all right yeah. and then get them the help they need get them the help they need and don't be afraid to pull rank on this if you're concerned about drug use in a young person this is an important health issue okay you can insist and you can use what leverage you have to get them to someone who can be of help okay terrific yeah dr jericho thank you so much great advice as always